Hello guys, welcome to windowsreport.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the kernel base.dll file is missing or not found. DLL files errors are very annoying always. And uh, in this video, I'm going to try to help you solve this issue and maybe this um, solution that I'm going to show you or the solutions that I'm going to show you could work for other types of DLL problems. So watch this video in order to fix the issue. <music> Firstly, the best thing to do when you have uh, such problem, you need to use your Windows to scan for missing DLL files or important system files and Windows will automatically try to fix that and renew the files. To do that, you're going to have to click on the search button and then type in here CMD then right click on command prompt and run as administrator. In command prompt, we're going to type SFC space slash scan now. This is a very cool option that you have in Windows to scan the important system files and you'll have to wait a few minutes to see if the Windows solves the issue. If not, stay in this video because I'm going to show you a few other options that you have. An option that I'm going to advise you to do is to scan your Windows operating system because some viruses can cause this issue. To scan your operating system, I'm going to recommend you to download Bitdefender 2019. You're going to have the download link in the description down below. And that program is very useful and will get rid of all the viruses that you possibly have in your Windows operating system. And the last thing that I'm going to advise you to do is to update your Windows. It's important to have all the updates installed. To do that, you're going to have to click on the Windows button and then click on this icon, which will lead you to the Windows settings. Then scroll down a bit and go to Update and Security. And then once you're in the Windows Update tab, you're going to see that Windows will automatically download the latest updates and will tell you if updates are available. You'll need to wait for the updates to download and then install them. You're going to have to restart your PC and hopefully your DLL file problem should be fixed. Hopefully after trying all that your Windows is now up and running and you can install or use the services that you couldn't use because you were getting that error. So this was the video guys. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads. Also don't forget to leave a comment down below with problems that you have on your Windows operating system and we can try to solve your issue in the next video. Until next time, have a nice day.